a mate's whatsapp today i'm going to show you how to turn a usb flash drive into the ultimate bootable tool you can load any os any iso any tool you need everything from a single usb stick and it's almost every time work so it's super easy no more reformatting every time or configuration hassle very great tool so let's begin all right so as you can see we will use a tool called ventoy just log navigate to the site download the version you need to your operation system i will use linux but if you use uh, windows just download the zip and run the exe file um okay so we download the gz file let's unzip it tar dash zxvf file name let's remove the compressed file change directory to the folder you want okay now let's check the architecture 86 64 let's run it we use the GUI. All right, okay, so this is the GUI. Um, now I will use one of my available USB flash drive, plugin, and click on this uh, refresh icon and it should recognize it. Okay, here it is. Yeah. And install. And it will let you know that it's going to format and you lose all your data. So bear it in mind. Okay, so, and don't forget, enable the secure boot support. So let's say that uh, in the future you want to upgrade version, just run the software again and click update. Now, after we install the software, it will mount the device uh, or you in Windows you will see a new drive. Now just copy the ISO file that you would like to boot from. I will use Windows 11, let's say uh, Windows 10 as well. Just copy it, it's take a while, depend on your the drive. This is cheap drive from AliExpress, so it will take a while. Mm, let's use uh, Clonezilla. This is Res RescueZilla, it's uh, another version of Clonezilla and let's say we want Mint as well. All right, file, ISO file has been copied. Let's reboot the system. Log in to the boot menu, choose to boot from the USB flash drive. Okay, and as you can see, well, we have a menu now. Let's try to boot from Windows 11. See how it's go. Use the normal mode. Okay, great success. It's boot. Let's reboot again. Let's try to boot to Windows 10. Okay, it's stuck. Uh, we will go, we'll try again later. Let's reboot again, boot menu. Let's try to boot to Linux Mint. All right, it's work. Reboot again, let's try now the last user we have, the RescueZilla. Okay. It seems to be work. Yeah, it's working. Let's try Windows 10 again. Try the other boot method. The Wim boot mode. And it seems that it's working. So you are limited only by the space available on your uh, flash drive. That's it. If you have a question, leave in the comment. Like, subscribe. And uh, wish you all the best. Have a nice day. Cheers.